What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Logical, Plausible, Probable. In this video, I will be outlining a formal argument on the subject of code, which I dare YouTube atheists to counter with anything other than, it's just a metaphor, it's not really code, which does nothing but showcase the ignorant state of denial required to be an uninformed atheist. But before we get into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you like the videos, debates, and after shows, make sure to hit that little bell icon so you will actually get notified. Now buckle up because it's time to make an argument that is logical, plausible, and probable. So for any of you who have seen one of my debates on intelligent design and evidence for God, you have heard me get into great detail on the subject of the genetic code and how as someone who has a background in tech, it just blows me away that given what's now known about genetics and biological systems, the idea that this all formed through undirected process with no intelligent agency being required is borderline nuts. But in this video, instead of actually explaining what is happening in literally every form of life and is recognized by basically every secular institution on this planet as fact, that is, the genetic code is a literal code, since all atheist and agnostic YouTubers want to talk about are hypotheticals, I'm curious to see if they can actually reach a sound conclusion other than mine if they actually take it seriously. More specifically, reach a sound conclusion without fantastic assertions and clear evidence of both Atheist Fancyland Projection Complex and the Droid C, also known as the Desperate Rejection of Intelligent Design Condition. Now, to be honest, I should probably spend 10 minutes issuing caveats to prevent the ridiculous amount of predictable talking point responses that don't actually address the argument, but that's entirely pointless. I swear, half of YouTube atheists who leave comments don't actually watch the videos they comment on. Either that or they are too stupid to comprehend the points that are being made in the videos they comment on. However, I'm going to repeat the foundational caveat this entire video and the entire argument is founded upon. The genetic codes are literal codes, not metaphor, not analogy, not simile, not any other looks like a code but isn't actually in a code escape mechanism. This is a hypothetical. You don't get to run away from the foundation of the argument. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into part one of the code argument. Premise one, all codes require arbitrary values being assigned to representative impulses, signs, or symbols. Premise two, code values and syntax must be determined before messages can be encoded, transmitted, and decoded. Premise three, all codes require a translation mechanism, adapter, key, or process of some kind to exist prior to translation. Premise four, Translation of encoded values does not transform one symbol into another. The representative symbols are interpreted to be equal. Premise 5. The genetic code contains all of these factors. Premise 6. All of these requirements depend on foreknowledge of the intended outcome. Premise 7. All known codes require intelligent agents to create these requirements. Premise 8. All life requires genetic code to exist. Therefore, intelligent agency is required for life to exist. Now, before you immediately start screaming, this has nothing to do with God. Notice, I literally said intelligent agency. So for once in your life, don't immediately run to your, I don't believe in the Christian God, therefore your argument is false, safe space. Also, keep in mind, this is part one of the code argument. But before I do a video expanding the argument even further, I really want to see if any atheist or agnostic can come up with a valid counter to this part one. And before allowing yourself to be triggered and start insisting it's not really a code, again, the entire point of this argument is agreeing on the assumption that the genetic code is actually a literal code, so in your responses, you must address the argument from that perspective. Now, I'm greatly looking forward to seeing your responses, and I hope at least a few of you can come up with something that is moderately creative and intellectually sound and actually applies Information and Communication Theory 101. At this point, the number of atheists and agnostics I've engaged with who freely admit they have zero knowledge of these subjects, yet claim my position to be categorically false, is reaching absolute absurdity. To be frank, the claims of ignorance as a defense mechanism to somehow debunk my arguments is why I created the Atheist Fantasyland Projection Complex and the Desperate Rejection of Intelligent Design Condition videos in the first place. There is no other topic of argument where you wouldn't be laughed out of the room for 
loudly and passionately insisting someone was wrong while simultaneously admitting you don't understand what they are saying. Then claiming someone else who also doesn't understand what's being said also claims you are wrong, therefore you are the one who is wrong. I'm sorry, but two idiots in agreement is not a valid counterpoint. This reversal of common sense is amazing. Now to quickly recap, the argument being made is codes require arbitrarily assigned values. Values must be assigned before message transmission. All codes require a translation method. All symbols are equal to assigned values not transformed into them. The genetic code has all of these requirements. No observed codes exist without intelligent agents preceding them. Life requires genetic code. Therefore, the genetic code was created by an intelligent agent. Hopefully this was simple enough even for brainwashed atheists to grasp, and I look forward to seeing your responses and then annihilating them with part two of the code argument. Now that's it for this video. Make sure to like this video and share with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, and make sure to click that little bell icon if you actually want to get notified under the new YouTube algorithm. But most importantly, as you contemplate this argument and the requirements for your very existence, remember that while I am presenting it as a hypothetical, the code argument is actually literal, and therefore you must consider if your existence through undirected process is logical, plausible, and probable.